Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to build a simple search using pure JavaScript. So basically the way this works is you type in a search criteria and you will get results based off of that. And you also get a message if you get no results. So let's go ahead and dive into the code. So what I have here is an HTML document with a search input and a JavaScript file. And that's this right here. And I just have some sample data. I have an array of objects. Um, which with a unique name for each object. That's what we're going to search through. And um, I also have this blank list here, this um, list group with no items in it right now. Um, the items are going to be added later when we perform the search. So basically what this looks like is just a plain search input, does nothing right now. Um, and then we'll go ahead and add that on there. So first, I'm going to add an ID to this list, uh, and I'll just name it list. And then for the input, I'll also add an ID and name it search. And I basically want to do that because I'm going to grab these values by their IDs, since that's an easy way to grab um, elements in JavaScript. So then here in my JavaScript file, um, I'll go ahead and grab the search input, and I'll just name it search input. I'll do document get element by ID search. And then I'm going to add an event listener to this input. An event listener will basically uh, listen for any type of event that we want, and then we can perform a callback function once that ev event is fired. So you can say search input dot add event listener, and then you tell it which type you want. I'll say input, and then the callback. And so for right now, I'll just say input event fired. Right. I just want to make sure that this is working. So I'll go back over here and I have my console open over here. So you'll see every time I type, we get that console log. So I also, you can also pass in the event as a parameter. And so what that'll do is it'll log the entire input event. So that looks like this. You'll see we get the whole input element. We can also access the element itself, its classes, values, and all kinds of stuff. So we're only interested in the value, so I can do event.target.value, and that'll actually just give me whatever value is in that search input, right? So we're basically going to grab that value and perform the search using that value every time something is typed. So I'll save it for right now to this variable, and then we'll come back to this in a second. So first, I'm going to grab this list using that ID. So just up here, I'll say list equals document get element by ID list all right so and then i'm basically just gonna have a few functions that do all the things that i need um, one is going to be to set the list and this is going to take in the search results right and i'll just name it group so basically what i'll do is once i perform the search and i filter out all the names that don't match the search criteria i'll pass that in to here right so this is basically people but filtered um, you know, based on the search criteria. I also have a function called clear list. And basically this is just going to remove all the list items from inside here, because basically this is going to append a list item every time. And so we want to remove it and start fresh whenever we perform a search. Otherwise you'll have, you know, for example, if I add in um, rock into the list and then I perform another search that it meets the criteria, it'll add rock again. So we clear the list first to make sure we don't have duplicates. And then I'm also going to have a function for showing no results. Um, I'll just name it um, set no results. Okay, so let's start off with the set list function. Okay, so like I said, first you want to clear the list, so I'll call that. And then inside of here, we're going to loop through the group, right? So I'll say const person of group. And so each person represents, uh, you know, one of these objects inside of here, right? Depending on what came back from the search results. And just outside this loop, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if the group dot length is equal to zero, meaning no results were found, then I'll go ahead and set that no results um, message. So then inside of this loop, I'm going to create a list item, which is going to go inside of here. And I'm going to create one for every single item of the search results. So I'll say item equals document.createElement list item. 
Then we want to, um, I'm actually going to add a class to this. You don't have to do this part, but I'm just going to say list group item. This is part of bootstrap. Again, that part is optional. I'm going to add text to this list item. So I'll say text equals document, create text node. And then I'm going to pass it the person name, right? So that's going to grab this object right here, the current one in the loop, and it's going to grab its name and add it to the text of this list item. And then we just need to append that to that item. So I'll say item.appendChild text. And then we need to add that list item to the list. So I'll say list.appendChild item. All right, so simple as that. And I'm also going to um, copy this and do the same thing here in the no results. But instead of setting it to a name, I'm just going to say um, no results found. Okay, and then in this clear list, what we can do is loop through all the children of this list and remove each child. You can do that with a while loop. You can say while list has a first child, go ahead and remove it. So you can do list.remove child, list first child. So that'll loop through and remove everything from that list and start off fresh and start inserting new ones. So then let's go ahead and move into the um, event listener. This is where the actual search is performed. Um, so first we'll um, check if the value exists, right? We don't want to search if there's spaces or something. So we'll say if value exists and the length is greater than zero, right? And we add that trim, which is a string method to remove all spaces, right? We don't, we don't care about spaces. We just care about the actual value. Um, so this will remove the spaces on either side of the text. So else, meaning there's no value in the search, we'll just clear the list. So first I'm gonna go ahead and make the value, um, I'm gonna remove the spaces like I said, and I'm also gonna make it lowercase to make sure that, um, you know, they already are lowercase here, um, but I also want to lowercase the input to make sure that it matches this because my search is gonna be case sensitive. Okay. So then I'm going to call the set list, which is going to create the new list um, items. And I'm going to pass it in um, the array, my array up here. So I'm going to pass it that array, but I don't want every item. So I'm going to filter them and I'm going to filter it by this value using the search term. So go ahead and create a variable. I'll just name it person, right? So for every person inside of the people array, we only want to include it if that person's name includes the search term, right? So if the search term is any part of the name, then it's okay to include that. So this will go ahead and remove every item from here that doesn't match the search criteria. And again, this is case sensitive. So that's why we had in lowercase everything here. We also want to sort these by relevance, right? because this is just gonna filter out the values that don't match the search criteria, but it's not gonna put them in order, right? We want to show the items that are most relevant to the search first. So let's create a function up here that actually does that. We'll just call it um, get relevancy. Okay. And so this will take in the value which is going to be the, um, the name. And then it's gonna take in the search term, okay? And then it's gonna compare the two and return us, um, you know, a number based on relevancy, right? So obviously if, if the match is exact, meaning you typed in the exact name, then we want a high relevancy. We want the maximum relevancy, right? That way that item will have priority over all other items. So we'll say if value is equal to search term, we'll go ahead and return two. This doesn't have to be two, but you just want this number to be the highest of all the numbers that you do return. So else if, so if it doesn't match exactly, but let's say the value starts with the term, then we wanna return one. So again, you want this to be lower than this one because this is the maximum, right? This is as close as you can get to the search term as possible. 
So as, as the relevancy decreases, you want to return a lower and lower number. This could be anything. You could do 100 and then, you know, this one could be 75, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, just as long as you decrease the relevancy as the search term, um, you know, matches less and less. So then I'm also going to do else if the value is anywhere in that, um, if that search term is anywhere in the value. So I can say includes term, uh, search term. I think I accidentally put the wrong one here. So if that search term is anywhere in the value, it will um, return a relevancy of zero. So then down here, when we set this list of people, um, we want to go ahead and sort that by the relevancy, which we have that function now. So right here in the closing parentheses of, of inside this uh, method, you can say dot sort. And then you pass in another parentheses and then you just pass in two arguments. You can name it whatever. So I'll, you know, you can do person A, person B. That's fine. Doesn't matter, but you need those two values to compare. And so you're going to return the score of um, person B minus person A, right? And that'll sort by, ever, by whichever one is most relevant to the search term. And so you can do that by doing return get relevancy and then pass in the first one, person B dot name. Then you want to also give it the search value minus get relevancy of the other one, person A, oops, person A dot name, also the search value. All right, and then before we close this out, I'm going to change this value up here to let. Didn't realize that I assigned it a constant, so this should be a, a let instead so that I can reassign it here. So that'll go ahead and sort by relevancy. So you want to go ahead and try, you know, make sure that your search is working, that you do get results, and that if you type in, you know, the wrong thing, you get no results. You also want to make sure relevancy. So see how I typed the letter R and both of these have it, but this one starts with it, so it comes up first, right? 